Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Double Trouble. For those of you who are joining us, you may notice that we're not using the electric team anymore. Um, two episodes ago, we did in fact lose both battles in a row, so I decided to move on. I did pose a question asking you guys if you wanted me to move on, but then I realized I record at 3 in the afternoon and... The video wouldn't come out till 7 at night. So then I realized, you know what? I'm just going to switch the team up. Um, I'll, I was planning on using a totally, totally different team that I've never used before on this channel before. But um, because I, I really did think we'd keep going with the electric team. Um, but I didn't get a chance to actually finish breeding it. So we're going to go back to this team for a while, which hasn't actually been in an episode of Double Trouble yet, I don't think. Um, it's really good. It's not my team. It's made by Squirt 2 of Nugget Bridge and um, Until then until we get the next team going which I really only have to EV train one thing which um, either waiting on someone to lend me a reset bag uh, or I'm Growing berries because I only need to reduce its uh, speed and then retrain it um, So I'm either re waiting for reset bag berries or key and moringa berries to uh, just make a pudding or something and they eat it and they lose their EV training. I, I, I don't know. I, I guess it's like a poison sub, poisonous substance. I, I can't tell you. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, I, I just need to do that. The rest of the team is actually already done because it's made from other teams. It's made from the Blastoise team, the Mega Blastoise team. Um, so, it's sort of been on this channel before, but there's only two Pokemon from that team that I kept, and that's Blastoise and Aromatisse. The rest are completely different, although you have seen the Pokemon, other Pokemon before on this channel. Um, I just decided to make a really good team, and it worked. It's not VGC legal, unfortunately, though, because I wanted to use two legendaries, so... Oh well. So, my opponent's gonna be bringing Dragonite, Gyarados, Meowstic, Aegislash, Tangrowth! I can't go much higher. I could, but I don't really feel like trying. Um, and Arcanine. Uh, does Charizard run Ancient Power? It does. Okay, so I'm going to bring Charizard. I'm going to start off with Charizard. And, um, hmm. Charizard's going to do pretty good against pretty much the entire team, with the exception of that meow stick it doesn't hit the meow stick hard or super effectively but it still hits it hard um so i don't really need much else um i'm thinking with the team he has i want to bring rhydon but not in the lead i want to bring mr mime mr mime's gonna be pretty actually no i'm gonna bring scrafty i'm gonna start off with scrafty because if he starts off with dragonite i can get that fake out and then do ancient power in this way you know i don't actually have to worry too much about him being like weakness policy. Um, I'll bring Rhydon in the back. That can be really, really useful here. And I think... I was thinking Mr. Mime, but it only hits one thing super effectively, and that's Dragonite, and I don't really care too much. So, you know what? I'm going to bring Trevenant specifically for that Gyarados and Tangrowth. I think that should work. That should work pretty well. Um, this team's going to... I can already tell you, because I've been doing a lot more of... Um, what I presume to be VGC 2015 metagame, which is including everything. Um, this team won't do very well in that metagame because there's a lot of things it can't hit pretty hard. Um, so what I'm thinking is it's going to need something, and I'm not really sure what, and I'll have to figure it out, obviously, but yeah. So, my opponent is leading off with Aegislash and Tangrowth. Now, both of them are Firebait. Both of them could easily switch into a Flash Fire Arcanine. So I really have to decide which one I want to hit harder. Um, I'm more worried about this Tangrowth getting off Sleep Powder. So I'm going to fake out the Tangrowth. And um, he's not going to switch out. So this Aegislash might potentially be weakness policy would be very very scary but with the sun and stuff if he doesn't protect it should do some good damage um of course tangrowth oh he's, he's gonna king shield i think tangrowth gets chlorophyll 
which or leaf guard leaf guard yeah leaf guard um which would be pretty scary um so what i think i want to do is i want to go for the tangrowth and just kind of kill it and my scrafty really doesn't have anything here but i'm going to drain punch the tangrowth just in case the flamethrower doesn't kill it or just in case like you know he switches into arcanine which he's not going to which is very interesting um so okay so the drain punch isn't gonna do anything it's gonna do like literally ow oh, my toe it's gonna literally do nothing um you're gonna go for rock slide aren't you no shadow ball okay i can take that i think all right yeah i can take that oh yeah definitely he gets a special defense drop but honestly i mean doesn't matter that much he's probably gonna king shield next turn because if he doesn't he will die to the flamethrower 100 percent guaranteed Dracolos. Um, that's going to be the Dragonite. So I'm actually going to go for Ancient Power against the Dragonite and top that off with an Ice Punch, which is four times super effective. Expecting that very, very obvious King Shield. Now, he could easily predict that. Um, I think with the special defense drop, and he's not going to. With the special defense drop, I would fall to a Shadow Ball. Um, but good for me because because he decided to go for the play that I thought he would. Um, he goes for extreme speed. That's actually really, really good for me um, if I survive. I do survive. He's not... What? Don't kill. Please don't kill. Okay, it doesn't kill. Good. I was going to say, if that killed, that would be rather unfortunate. So, Drag Knight went down pretty easily. The Tangrowth went down pretty easily. Um, this Aegis Slash is going to be a problem if I can't take it out the next turn. Um, Mystagrix. Yes! Oh my god. I love Meow Six's name. I love that. Mystagrix. That's so cool. Alright, so I'm going to go for... Actually, you... Well, if you have Flamethrower or not... I mean, if you have Shadow Snake or not... If I switch out my Charizard now, if you have it, I bring it back in later, it's not going to do anything. So there's really no point in doing that. And uh, I'm just going to Ice Punch the Meow Stick. I don't know why I'm keeping this thing in here. Um, he's going for the 50% chance. I, If he wins to that, you know, then it's not that great. <laughs> but um, obviously he can't beat me without it, so nothing to really concern myself over. But... um. Charizard does go down. I really, I mean, Aegislash doesn't have too much for, for Scrafty. Um, he's gonna go for Flash Cannon. I think I can take that pretty well. Um, so what I'm, yeah, I can take that very well. So what I'm gonna have to do right now is I'm gonna have to. Um, I have nothing for this Mystagrix. Um, I'm gonna bring in Rhydon. Rhydon can easily wipe the floor with this Aegislash. Um, so obviously he's gonna go for King Shield. So I'm gonna go for. Um, Drill run. Should I go for substitute? I'm gonna go for substitute because I'm expecting that uh, that king shield, um, and I'm gonna switch in my. Uh, you know what? I don't really feel like switching. I'm just gonna let my Scrafty stay in here and do some damage. He is gonna go for king shield again. He's really, really, really predictable. I'm really hoping he goes for the swagger on my um, Scrafty though. It's gonna go for the reflect instead. I do get my substitute up as I was hoping for. So I'm just gonna keep going for ice punches. I I don't really want to switch in my Trevenon because of the Aegis Slash, but I have to kinda keep Scrafty in because if I know he's not gonna go for a Shadow Ball against me, but honestly that's really my best bet. So I'm gonna ice punch the the Meow Stick again. Um X Exaguide? Ex Exagid? I don't know. He's gonna go for Safeguard. I don't have any status on my... Well, actually, no, that's a complete lie. I do have status on my... Um... Trevenant. So he does Shadow Ball the Rhydon. I'm so glad I got the Substitute up. Um, I don't know how I would have survived that, but he put himself in Blade form, so no matter what, I think even without the Reflect, if I do hit this, it should still kill. Because it has, like, 50 defense. Yeah, sweet. And that's why Rhydon is superior to Rhyperior. I, I mean, no, Rhyperior definitely has way more attack 
but um, the cool thing about Rhyperior is it has so much better defenses. Um, he is going to go for Swagger. It, we miss, or he misses, and we get it. And actually, you know, the continuous onslaught of oh, the citrus of the uh, Ice Punch has been working pretty well to our favor. Um, I've been digging it a little bit. <laughs> but I don't think he has any attacks, so he's going to continuously Swagger us, um, which is unfortunate. But, I do have my Trevenant. Um, he's just going to continue sla Swagger, because he, he really can't win. As we, we've seen his entire moveset this entire time, the only potential way he can win is a 50% chance. Um, and even then, we do have our Scrafty just continuously hitting it. So if we, even if we get this off, which we won't, but I'm not going to hit myself too hard, which is actually kind of interesting that I didn't hit myself that hard. Um, but we're just continuously hitting this, this uh, Meow Stick. He has no attacks, so, I mean, it's a 50% chance he can win. I have three Pokemon. I have a very, uh, I have a much better chance of winning than he does. But, of course, it is going to be up to the luck right now, and I really, really dislike that. Um, but thank you, Rhydon. You are going to snap out of confusion, and this will kill the Meow Stick. So, nice try, uh, but skill has triumphed. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm really against the use of Swagger and Evasion moves because, you know, I, I don't know if you guys have read it, but down in the description below is a link to my blog, and um, I posted a... I, okay, I spent all day. I made a team that basically was completely dependent on luck to win. It was um, a handful of Prankster users with uh, Swagger and Double Team, and there's only like two moves on my entire team like out of all six Pokemon there's only like two moves and they're both dazzling gleam and I figured that was the least skillful move I can use because you could just click it and it doesn't matter because it's gonna hit both you know you don't have to choose um, so that's why I included it just also because there's a lot of stall wars but um, before I get into that I'm gonna get into this battle uh, my opponent's bringing Muck, Gyarados, Aegislash, Conkledur, Tyrantrum and Heracross. A very interesting team, something that you don't normally see. Um, I'm not liking the Charizard lead. Um, it's not the greatest. I want to sort of, I kind of want to lead with Trevenant actually. I really like the Trevenant against these Pokemon. Um, I'm going to lead off with Charizard anyway because I can get the Trick Room up or something. I mean, his team's actually really slow, so I might not really want to. I'm going to bring Kecleon because um, that Aegislash does scare me a little bit. And while I don't have anything, I do have Sucker Punch. Um, he can hit me with the Shadow Ball, which he can aim towards Trevenant. And um, I'm going to bring Rhydon. So what I was saying is I, I spent all day, I, I spent like 20 minutes making a really bad team but that relied specifically on hacks to win, you know, specifically swagger and double team and the evasion moves or whatever. And I got, I did pretty well. There was one battle where I lost, but I think there was a glitch. Either that or my opponent was incredibly lucky. Each time my opponent attacked, he had either negative one accuracy or I had plus one evasion. And he got three sheer colds off in a row. And I was just like, I don't, I don't think, no, no, I don't think that works. Because without any accuracy drops, it has 30% accuracy. So I it just, to get three in a row was ridiculous. So he's either really lucky or something. But um, a couple of other battles, you know, I had really smart players play me. But for the most part, I just clicked double team, double team, double team, double team, double team, double team, swagger, swagger, swagger recover and I just won and that's all I had to do I was just like eh, whatever I don't know what I'm doing and I wrote up this whole ar article about um me oh well, I don't want to go for trick room um I'm gonna burn the Garrett actually no I'm gonna burn the Heracross and I'm gonna protect with my Charizard here because I'm actually kind of worried about it yeah it is gonna be mega um so I, I wrote a whole article up about how you know like defining, you know, like, really taking a look at, you know, these strategies, and I, I went through battles to, like, make it not just a solely, um, what 
What? What am I saying? A solely, um... I can't think of the word right now. Um, opinionated article. Uh, I wanted to, you know, back it up with things that actually happen. And so I, I did battles, and I battled all day, and I got, like... To 1200 or something, or something, something that I, I never really ever get to with it, and it's just it's ridiculous how easily I was able to win battles by just not doing anything. You know, all I did was spam, and so that that's kind of like where this whole thing comes from is it, it it takes like absolutely no skill to use any of these moves or anything like that. So you know. I, I just felt the need to write the article and, you know, prove that, you know, it really doesn't take that much skill to use these, these, uh, choices, and it re you know, it, it really, I, I try really hard not to, you know, get pissed off, I mean, it's a game, it's a game, that's all it is, um, I try really hard not to get pissed off, and one of the things that really, really bothers me is when I have a game completely in the bag. Like, I have, I think it's on this channel somewhere. I had three Pokemon, and my opponent had one Pokemon, and it was either a Meowstic or a Klefki. And basically, he just kept spamming Swagger, and I kept hitting myself, and I never got a chance to attack. But I was in a position where, I think it was, even, it was sort of similar to the, the battle we just had. Um, I was in a position where I clearly won, you know, he had no attacks for me, he couldn't do any damage to me outside of Swagger, so it, like, made no sense, you know, obviously I had that game, and then he just comes in with a 50% chance and relies on that to win, and that really bothered me, you know, it really, really bothered me when that happened. Um, I have no idea what this muck wants to do, I'm just gonna double attack it, I have literally no idea what this thing does. Um, I, I just got no idea, and you know, the Gyarados is burnt now, um, he's gonna go for Dragon Dance, interestingly enough, um, that sucks, but, I mean, he's still at negative one, you know, he's gonna go for Poison Jab, that might actually kill my Trevenant. Oh! That was a crit, and I took it, and I'm gonna get my berry back, berry back, berry back, berry back, what, it didn't kill, seriously? Oh, that, that's jank. Um... <laughs> Dang. What can I switch in there? Nothing. Um, I'm just gonna ancient power the Gyarados, right? Yeah, that, that should kill it from here. And then... Judging by the crit, I'm gonna horn leech the muck again. So, ancient power the Gyarados. That might kill, it might not. He's faster than me, but I don't think he can kill me at negative one with waterfall in the sun. So he's gonna go for waterfall. Please don't kill me. He did a lot. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. That's right. That's right. Um, ancient power goes off. Does it kill? Does it kill? Does it kill? It doesn't kill. Um, rock slide! Wow! I did not think you would do that. Nice. I did not know Mux were on rock slide. But yeah, so I mean, like, basically, I just... It, it, it pisses me off when people use that because... You know, they could have... Um, oh my god, what the heck is happening here? Um, they can have, like, a terrible position, and then all of a sudden they just go, and they have the win button, you know? I, I find it really stupid, but that's just my opinion. I mean, obviously some people like to use it. It's decently viable up until, like, a certain point where people are like, really, you're doing this, you know? And that that's what I noticed, you know, in the very bottom of the ladder, it is probably one of the most destructive techniques or strategies in the game, you know, like, because people can't counter it that low, you know, like, they're starting out or they're testing a team and they're just not prepared for it. But once you get to the higher levels, you know, it's annoying and it can turn a guaranteed win into not, you know, but, um, I don't know, it's, it's so, ugh. I did, yeah, this is just how I feel about it, you know? Um, I don't have to worry about hitting this muck. I'm just going to go for Sucker Punch against the muck. I went for Trick Room as well. Um, I have a feeling your Assault Vest. Yeah, the way you took that Flamethrower must be Assault Vest. Because you're bulky as all hell. Yeah, so Ice Fang, but you're burned. I mean, you're at negative one. 
I still have sun, so I'll get my citrus berry back. Um, and you'll die to burn. Uh, so what was I saying? Yeah, so... Like, when, once you get higher up in the ladder, like, once I broke 1100, you know, people were like, seriously? And then just would instantly kill both of my Pokemon and be like, well, now what are you gonna do? And I couldn't come back. So it's just crazy um, how that happens. Uh, I don't know. It's just, tell me what you guys think about that. Um, tell me what you guys feel, how you feel about, you know, those kinds of moves. Um, I have an idea. I'm going to burn the Age of Slash, and I'm going to skill swap the Age of Slash. This way, once it goes for an attack, it can't ever get out of this form ever again. And I do have my Rhydon in the back. Oh, you can't skill swap that? Oh, oh well. Oh well, I thought you could. I didn't realize you can't. Oh, good thing we went for burn, because it's Zords Dance. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Um, oh, something. I don't want to exactly switch in my ride on against an Aegis Slash with the Trevenon on the field. Um, so I'm going to go for Horn Leech. Uh, and I didn't realize that wouldn't work. So I'm going to go for a Rock Slide just in case he goes for uh, no attack. He is going to go for an attack. I probably. Well, no, actually. Well, I don't know. I'm talking a lot of random stuff. But he is going to Shadow Sneak me like I predicted. I don't really care though. I didn't realize you can not skill swap stance change. That would have been so useful. How useful would that have been? Let's be real here. That would have been ridiculously good. Wow, even even with mm, even resisted that did good damage. I like that damage. Now he's he's at neutral, uh, but I, like I said, I do have my ride on. So I don't really care too much. I'm gonna go for Rock Slide though instead, because I'm I'm expecting him to go for a King Shield. Um, and double rock sledge should do some good damage. I don't. I actually don't even know if Drill Run would kill him or not. So rock slide goes off. Oh crit! I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. I think he would have died anyway um, to burn or to my own rock slide if he didn't go before me. But I doubt he went before me. So that's double trouble for you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what you think about Swagger, what you think about uh, evasion-related moves, and um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you guys at the next video. Peace.